Today is another day, so let's get to it. I already bought the uh, gasket for this from Toyota, as you saw. And I also bought the one from the Intec. I don't know, this, these people ended up putting um, silicone on it and the casket. I don't know why, but I'm gonna remove all that. Here's the Intec gasket. So I'm gonna do that, put on the header, and then put on the motor mounts. The motor mounts are not in here. I took them all off. My girl Kino last night. I'm um, sorry, there is not that much light here. So today there is somewhat. Still, it's in the afternoon already. So let's see how much I get done. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna clean this up, put it back together, put the clutch on. Clutch is somewhere in here. Uh, just gotta look for it and put the crankshaft pulley and start dropping this motor my girl somewhat clean the tranny before it used to be all black like that all here you can still see some of this and i still gotta go get some um grease for that throw out bearing and that's it let's get to work last thing I'm gonna replace is the small little gasket for the oil pan. It's pretty easy, just pop it out, uh, take off this nut right here. Mine's just a little different because I have the DDPR, so it has to um, be placed a different way. Yours is gonna be right here. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick and do the rest of the stuff. So there it is, had to put a little bit of oil because I didn't want to go in. And this is the old one, so it was a little damaged, so, and it looks like it's getting cracked already, so, it didn't need a new one, so, glad I replaced it. So, time to do the other stuff. <laughs> there it is motor is already ready I uh, just got to put the clutch on it I cleaned it up put everything back together water pump tensioner uh, power steering pump and the crankshaft also the header and it's ready to go in just need to put the transmission on and the clutch but I'm gonna move into the engine bay and put the motor mounts on right now and then work on the clutch slap it in and hopefully it turns on i forgot one last thing i need to swap out these right here because i ended up breaking them the little clips so i got ones from the junkyard so i'm gonna do those two as well and that's it <laughs> So there it is. I put the new ones on. So now they actually have a little clip right here. Um, so I took off this clip. You're able to take it off. And it's kind of difficult um, because you have to take out this little plastic, just pry it out a little bit. And then there should be like little clips right there that you gotta lift up. You gotta lift them up and then pull the 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 wire and it's kind of hard when it's only you because you're prying one of them and you don't have another hand to pull it so it took me a while to do another thing is that the motor mount that motor mount right there i probably have to go return it i am gonna get an oem one um it doesn't line up same thing the one right here 
it doesn't line up. I don't know why it's not lining up. So those two I'm gonna get OEM. The other two are gonna stay. They're they're working, but I think I'm gonna go back to the junkyard because I totally forgot that the ones this car used to be up north and the bolts are really rusted same thing with the nuts so i'm probably gonna go to the junker and pick up um i need one bolt um and usually it's the mount from the back and those are the bolts and this is the bolt and the nuts so these are also rusty as hell so I'm gonna get new ones. Gonna get them from the junker or use ones from the junker. They're not rusted. This car used to belong up north, so that's why it is. So sucks that I'm not gonna finish this tonight. I really wanted to finish it tonight and get it up and running, but hey, you run into hip hiccups, and these are the wires that are in. And you see, this is where it clips up. Yeah, that was. That little square right there, that's where it clips up. That's why you gotta lift it up with a small little screwdriver. And this is the little screwdriver I was using. But at least the wire harness is already done. Uh, I just gotta do the motor mounts, the clutch, slap it on. Hopefully tomorrow um, I'm able to do that. So I ordered, um, actually went to O'Reilly's right now, real quick to see if they had the driver's side training belt and it did and I mounted it up and it's actually I was able to put all four bolts on this one so that's cool um, I should I ordered the other one it had to be special ordered from O'Reilly's hopefully it, it works if not I'll buy one from Toyota tomorrow morning Sorry I didn't record this one. I just wanted to make sure it test fit it. Tomorrow I'll tighten it up. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted tomorrow.